Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, drawstring cast off specifically for the fine gauge and this will work for it because the pegs are closer together so we're going to do um, a few decreases that are kind of what will seem a little strange and so what I'm going to be doing show you how to finish this off okay what you're going to do is you're going to knit move that one over to the next peg toss the bottom loop over okay then you're going to knit two you're going to knit the next one move it over toss the bottom loop over knit the next two knit the next one move it over toss the bottom loop over and knit the next two knit the next one move it over toss the bottom loop over and knit the next two you're going to do this all the way around and what it should look like is every third peg should be empty so you'll have three stitches empty actually so it's every fourth peg will be empty so empty one two three empty one two three that's going to be all the way around so go ahead and pause the video and complete that much okay we'll have just completed that every fourth peg is empty okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to knit for two rows okay and what you're doing is you're knitting only the pegs with stitches okay and the great thing about the knit is when you go to tighten it that'll get filled in that space right there will get filled in and the reason why it'll work okay for the fine gauge is because the pegs are so close together it would be a lot more obvious if you were using a wider gauge so that's the reason why we're doing this so you're going to go around and you're going to knit for two rows just the pegs that have stitches on them okay just go ahead and pause the video and knit those two rows okay we've done our two rows and now what we want to do is make it to where every other peg is empty so we're going to go ahead and we're going to knit that first stitch okay then we're going to knit the second stitch move it over and knit over then you're going to knit the next stitch then knit the next stitch move that one over and toss over you're starting to see that every other peg is empty okay so on these three stitches what to keep in mind is say you knit the first two like that then you take that middle one move it over and toss the bottom loop over like that and you're going to do this all the way around and then you're going to knit the two rows like we just did on the last decrease and then I will show you how I am drawstringing it off so go ahead pause the video get every other peg empty on this row then knit two more rows and then I'll come back and show you how to actually draw string it off okay I'm having to change up yarn because this is really not strong enough to do um, a draw string but if you're doing a stronger yarn you can just I'm, I'm going to suggest that you still cut one long strand of another for the last drawstring 
I'm going to separate them so they're easier to see and not hard to find. So what you're going to do is you're going to send the yarn through every other stitch. So there's the one. We're going to skip that one and send it through the next one. Skip that one and send it through the next one. So every other stitch you're going to send the yarn through. All the way around. Okay, now what you might want to do is just go in and take off all those stitches that you just draw strung so that you're getting, you know, which ones you're fixing to need to get. So you're going to take every other one of those that you did off. You can do it as you go. I just... decided to do it this way. take all those off. We're going to turn this inside out. Okay. And what we're going to do there's those ones we tied together there so we know that's the inner one. Because I've got it turned inside out, what you can do is you can kind of draw a string both of them at the same time. Okay, so there's my inner set and there's my outer set. Just kind of pull it and tie one set, tie the other. And then you're going to kind of stretch those stitches out that you did with the knits. Which should start to smooth out the top some more. Snip the end. Flip right side out. And there you have it. Now it does have some draw to it. it, does have some waviness to it. If you want to remove that even more, instead of doing two rows of knits, do three rows in between your decreases and that should reduce it even more. And that is how you do a drawstring cast off for the fine gauge hat looms.